So it's official, we have Canada playing Mexico on the women's side in the Summer Sunoff series uh, right before the Olympics. Uh, June 1st in Montreal, then June 4th in Toronto. Um, shout out to the uh, social team for Canada Soccer who really been stepping it up recently with the content they've been putting out there. But Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Mexico will be an interesting uh, uh, matchup, I think, was last the end of last year. Um, 2023, no, end of 2022, they played Mexico and had the, the draw and the loss. And I think Mexico is definitely an improving side that won't, that won't just sit back, but will definitely provide enough challenge for Canada. I'm very curious to see, um, A, from a Canadian perspective, um, how the pitch starts to look. And by the pitch, I mean how, how the team looks. Um, I think Michelle Prince just got back onto the pitch, starting to practice, which means she's back up there, which really does create a lot of congestion when it comes to that four position. I think if all people are healthy, I mean, Michelle goes to the Olympics, Janine goes to the Olympics, Leon, Vienne, that's just nines. You need some fluidity through there. Right, Lacasse. It's going to be very interesting to see kind of who, who really pushes through. Um, but I'm very curious to see that, especially with Michelle back. Heidema hasn't returned back from injury, so that's something to keep an eye on. But I think that nine to ten role is very interesting in terms of what Bev decides to do with it. Um, only 18 players going to the Olympics, so it's going to be tight. Um, hopefully, uh, Sydney Collins could be back as well. I'd love to see her put her foot back into this. Another injury, unfortunately, uh, for Jade Riviera, so we're not sure if she will be ready. Uh, she didn't miss the last, um, Man United game, so I'm very curious to see how this kind of turns out for them. But, Mexico's a good side. They made a lot of waves, uh, beating the U.S. at the Gold Cup W, um, at the end of the group stage. And that put them in, in the route to <laughs> get to the semis, but then ultimately lose to Brazil. So Mexico is definitely a side on the rise. I'm wondering now how they match up with Canada in this version of Canada, right? Back three, pushing players further up the pitch with your wing backs. I'm very much curious to see what it is. And if there's one position conversation I'd love to have would be, where do you put Becky now? Because I think there's a very fair argument to say, yeah, Becky is playing well. She should be in the starting 11. But then where do you put a Carl? Where do you put Nichelle? Where do you put Adrian Leon? I think in my ideal mind, I might put Becky as that wing back. I know her further up the pitch, but you give her the opportunity to track back, but then also push forward along with Ashley Lawrence. I think that right wing back position might be Janine Backies. And if you do that, then you have a little bit more flexibility up top where you can say, hey, do you want to go Lacasse up top in that 2 1 with Leon and then Prince? Or do you want to try to say, does Deanne get up there with that 2-1 with Prince? I think, ideally, my starting 11 is probably um, Jade Rose along with Vanessa Gilles and Kadisha Buchanan as your back three. Kaylin Sheridan, goal, no question. But then I go Becky and then Ashley Lawrence with the midfield being... Fleming and Awujo still. And then the 2 1 being Leon, um, Lacasse, and then Nichelle up top, assuming she's fit. I think if everyone is healthy, that's the starting 11. Uh, but you guys, let me know in the comments. I think we're going to just uh, wrap. Nope, not wrap it here. But yeah, so Canada versus Mexico. Um, let me know how you feel. Um, if you guys are going to the game, let me know too. I might try to make that Toronto game in June. But yeah, now we'll wrap it up right here.